is a Middle East security analyst. He joins me now from Islamabad. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Let me ask you this. From Israel's perspective, these new security measures are necessary because gunmen entered the compound a week ago and killed uh, two Israeli policemen. Why, from your perspective, uh, is that not justification for installing metal detectors and upgrading security measures at Al-Aqsa? Thank you for having me. Well, we need to understand, we need to evaluate, and we, we need to comprehend the fact that it is not physical alienation of the Palestinians from the holy site. It is the psychological aspect that needs reckoning. Installing metal detectors at any religious site at any part of the world is pretty much normal. Because it sounds, it's, it's normal stuff, but it's the physical, it's the psychological aspect that one needs to account. Okay, so um, if these measures are not repealed, what do you fear could happen? Well, it will trigger a crisis within a crisis. I do not see this, this, this secu these security measures lasting for a long time. I really don't. But it will definitely trigger a crisis within a crisis. Okay, then are, how, how do you expect them to be repealed? Will the international community perhaps have to step in here, the UN or other bodies, in order to pressure Israel to take them back? Well, the role of international community is pretty much important, pretty much imperative in this case. President Erdogan's call last night to his counterpart in Israel was a good initiative, was something international community needs to take, take along. But international community is not stepping in, is not taking, is, or I should say, is not doing what it needs to do in this issue. Okay, Shazar Shafak, thank you so much for joining us there from Islamabad.